It's Monday, you guys, which means I'm back for another grocery haul and meal plan. Oh. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, tips for all shades of mom life, and it is Monday, which means I am back to share a weekly grocery haul and meal plan. So last week I set us up good and solid for two weeks, so there was no need to actually go to the grocery store this week, but I did pull everything from my fridge, my freezer, my pantry, and set it up just like a grocery haul, just to show you everything that we're using that coincides with this week's meal plan. And I also pulled anything that I would be using for any kind of weekly meal meal prep. I also have a really small Dollar Tree haul that I just figured I would include in this video. It is super minute. I didn't get a whole bunch of things, so I won't be doing a separate video on it. So I just figured I would throw it in this one. And then next week, I'm going to go ahead and do a big three-week grocery shopping. I think I'm just going to take one day or the weekend and go and get everything that I need for three weeks. I've already made the meal plan for three weeks. I've made the grocery list for everything that I need from each store. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that in one shot. We can't do anything more than three weeks, but we certainly can get by on more than two weeks. So I think I'm going to set us up nice and good for the rest of the month. And then I'm going to break those videos up by stores just so it's not a super, super long video and it's not overwhelming. But that is all for next week's agenda for right now. I'm going to take you down to my counter in the kitchen. I'm going to show you what we're using for this week's meal plan. We'll go over the meal plan and and then I'll show you what I got at Dollar Tree. Okay, you guys, so here is my quick little overview of me shopping my fridge, freezer, and pantry. This is everything that we need for the meal plan for this week. And then I also just have a few items off in the corner to show you guys that I will meal prep for this week that you guys will see in a later video. So for today, we are doing a pot roast. This is one of those big, huge pot roasts that I got from Costco. So I just wrote myself a note to add beef broth. And I actually have some beef broth that I had frozen in the freezer. And this is like really concentrated goodness. So I'll add a little bit of hot water to this. And this will be dinner tonight, but I need to get on top of that because it needs to be a slow cooking for a while. And then with that, we're just gonna have two boxes of the Annie's white mac and cheese. I thought I had put potatoes in there, but I didn't. I just put like celery, carrots, onions, and seasoned it and everything, and then just got it ready for dumping. But I thought I put potatoes in it, but no big deal, we'll just have that with mac and cheese. And then tomorrow we are cooking a 50 shades of chicken recipe, which is a fried chicken. So I'm really excited about that. I was going to break apart these chicken legs, but I figured we can just use leftovers for lunches because obviously we're always looking for lunch ideas. And when I went to get everything out, I noticed that our buttermilk was no good. So I ran to the gas station and got a small little thing of buttermilk so that we had what we needed. I had that other buttermilk for so long. I made ranch dressing with it that you guys will see in an upcoming meal prep video, but it didn't make it until we needed to cook this recipe. So I just got this small little buttermilk and that should do for what we need for this recipe. And I have a bunch of potatoes over here because we're gonna make homemade french fries with this fried chicken. I don't have all the ingredients out because obviously it's its own recipe video. So I'm not gonna put everything out that kind of spoils the surprise. But this this is just a rough idea of what that recipe is going to be and I'm really excited about it because I love a good fried chicken recipe. Wednesday we're going to do a crock pot meal. This is actually called chicken Azteca. I think I wrote fiesta chicken or that's what I call it that I put in my meal planner. I make it just a tiny bit different than the recipe but this is from one of those crock pot cookbooks. The ones I got at the Dollar Tree. Those spiral bound cookbooks we all collected like every one that we found and one of them was a crock pot one and I found a recipe in that book and I do a small derivative of that and it is a really really good so you just dump a bunch of chicken into the crock pot you add salsa black beans cream cheese some corn and you just let it cook all day long with some seasonings and stuff 
and it makes the most delicious, creamy, Tex-Mex kind of flavor. And so we have some tortillas still in the refrigerator if someone wants to make like a wrap out of it. And I think I still have some of those corn tortillas that I can put in the oven and make my own hard shell taco shells if somebody wants to do it like that. But I still have these jumbo bags of chips from Costco. So the box came with three bags like this. And we still have like this much of the first bag. This is bag number two and we still have a third bag. So for that purpose alone, I just figured we will use the nacho chips just to kind of get rid of them because this says June 18th and it took us over a month to use one bag. So I don't, I don't want these to end up spoiling. So we're going to work on that and then we're going to use the leftovers from that pot roast to make a pot pie. So I'm really excited about that. This is the brown gravy mix. I still have some mixed vegetables in the freezer from Costco that I forgot to pull out. And then obviously I can't show you the meat because I already showed you that over there and we're going to use the leftovers for it. But I do like to use a deep dish pie crust to make a really nice pot pie and then we'll use the thinner crust for the top. So I'm really excited about that. I really love pot pies and although this is not really the season, I feel like that's more of like a winter cozy meal. That pot roast just sounds like it's going to be delicious as the meat for this. Then we're going to do a meatball subs. So here I have some of my own sauce that I had frozen in the freezer and some ground beef you can see is kind of defrosting out here while I have it sitting out here. But I'm going to make some little mini, like not mini meatball subs, but more round ones. So these are some rolls that Daryl had picked up on a clearance when he went to Walmart like two or three weeks back and so we threw them in the freezer and I knew I'd be able to use them at some point in time so I pulled them out and I'm going to make meatballs with the ground beef and use my own sauce and this is what we have of that huge block of mozzarella that we got from Costco so it pretty much lasted over a month I thought it was going to last a little bit longer but we did a lot of Italian type dishes where we use mozzarella but we still have a good amount here after these subs we'll still have enough to do like pizzas and stuff next week but I definitely will need to get mozzarella the next time I go back to Costco. This was such a great deal. So that's what we have on the meal plan for one night. And then I haven't cut the watermelon yet. And here is the eggs that we have left over. And so one night I want to do breakfast for dinner and I have my very last pack of bacon from Costco. And so I'm going to do that with some cheddar cheese and bacon and the eggs and do bacon and cheese omelets. We'll use the watermelon. And then here is just some bagels that I have left over in the freezer from the Dollar Tree. So we'll do, like I said, some kind of breakfast thing for dinner. And then here is a KFC bowl night. I haven't done that in forever, and this is actually what we're going to eat on Mother's Day. Definitely not an elaborate meal, but I am the one that cooks in the house. Not that Daryl is incapable. Jake can assemble some things. I'm sure someone could whip me up something if I wanted to, but I don't really want anybody to cook. I don't want dishes. I don't want mess, and I figured the KFC bowls are just super easy. So I have the Tyson Panko Chicken Breast Tenderloins. It's not popcorn chicken, but we still have quite a few pieces left. And so I figured I would just cook up what's left and dice it. And then we'll do, we still have a bunch of these potatoes. And you saw some of it's going to be french fries. But then we still have this bag. And then we still won't use all of that for mashed potatoes. So I'll still have potatoes left over. So I figured I'll make a batch of mashed potatoes. And then use that chicken and just cut it up on top. And the corn is down there also. But we'll use the corn for on top of the KFC bowls with some shredded cheese and the brown gravy mix. And then I had this red lobster like biscuit kit that I still had in my pantry from forever ago. So I figured I'll just make some KFC like bowl kind of things. And then that's it for what we have planned for meals for the week. And then here's just a little bit of what I'm doing for meal prep. I'm finally making my husband's tuna, which I never made at all last week. So this is just a small amount of the ingredients. I didn't pull everything out, but that's just to show you guys what we're doing for our tuna. And then we're running out of snacks. I didn't buy any in last week's grocery haul. And then obviously there's no grocery haul this week. And so definitely running out of things, but I still had this from, geez, a month and a half, almost two months ago. So this is the toffee oat cookies from Trader Joe's and the cinnadoodle. So I'm going to make both of those. 
And then I have some phyllo dough here and some eggs that I pulled out of this bin. So that's what's left for omelets, but then I'm pretty much going to kill it for this set of meal prep. So I'm going to use the phyllo dough and put it inside of cupcake tins and make like little bacon, egg and cheese tartlets. So I won't use all of this bacon for omelets. Like I'll cut it in half. We're not going to have it as a side dish. We're going to have it inside of the omelet. So I'm going to cut it in half and use half for the omelets that we're going to eat for dinner. And then the other half I'm going to use inside of these eggs with some of that cheese also and just make it inside of these little phyllo dough pieces that I have inside of a cupcake tin. And I thought that would be really good for some extra breakfast meal prep because we're almost out of the breakfast sandwiches that you guys are gonna see in tomorrow's meal prep video. So I figured just a little bit more of those eggy kind of bites would be really good for moving forward. And then here are the other things that I had to show you. So I got a delivery from the Smart Baking Company. I absolutely love these. I mentioned to you guys maybe in the last grocery haul all the time before that, that I was out of seeded buns and I absolutely love these smart buns you guys these are absolutely stinking delicious and they're only 63 calories there's zero carbs in here and you cannot tell that you're eating a smart bun like there's no way for you to notice you defrost it throw something on here if you're craving that bread and this does the trick like i absolutely love them i haven't had them in so long so i'll eat something open-faced or if i've been craving bread i've been caving and i don't want to do that that's been where my changes have set me backwards so i needed to go and order these again so i went and ordered a box of those and then i did get the lemon cakes out of all of the smart cakes the lemon is our favorite flavor it just it tastes like a fresh baked lemon cake there's no way you would ever know that you are eating something that only has 38 calories and zero carbs of sugar or starch like it's unbelievable to me they're small and they're perfect to come in a little package and so in here is two packages per box so you get four smart cakes per box but i don't even eat a whole package i only eat one i mean they're still pretty good and decent in size and and so when I want a snack, I just defrost the pack and one I'll eat that day. And then usually a kid grabs the other one or I'll put it in the refrigerator and eat it the next day. But it's just a perfect portion snack. So I really enjoy those. And then I do enjoy their muffins, but there were two flavors that I hadn't tried yet. So one of them is the banana nut and I love anything banana nut. I make my own banana nut muffins all of the time. So these sounded really good and there's only 113 calories in here and again, zero carbs so gotta love all these smart baking products because they really let you cheat when you're not cheating and then here is their newest flavor which is apple cinnamon that sounds really good too that plus like their pumpkin one screams harvest to me and i'm all about the fall because i'm hoping by fall all of this stuff is over so i feel like i am craving the fall feels right now because i just want to skip summer altogether like let's just make it go away so i got the apple cinnamon once but I have a permanent discount code that is always listed in the description box where you guys save at checkout so I'll list that down below if you guys want to check them out but they have all different flavors of smart cakes they still have more muffins they have smart buns that don't have seeds so definitely give them a check out and then I did hop over to the Dollar Tree I went for a couple of reasons and it really worked out to my favor because I was in there for 10 minutes got literally everything that I needed and I was out the door so I know I mentioned to you guys a bunch of times about my friend Lauren who was getting married. I think even in my 411 video I said she was contemplating canceling her wedding which she did. She did postpone it to next year when they're still going to go ahead and do it like at the hall. She's going to lose her deposit if she doesn't have some kind of party but Marissa and I and her other two girlfriends just kind of convinced her that she still wanted this particular day to be her wedding day. So just in the blink of an eye, literally on Friday, she made the decision on the first that she was still gonna go ahead and get married the next day. Her friend was marrying her anyways because he's an ordained minister. So he was able to come and she literally had her parents there, her two witnesses, and asked me to come to use my good camera to take pictures. And it was really super sweet. She had these little things at the front door 
door that said let the adventure begin and then inside she put tissues in case you were crying and I was bawling my eyes out but taking pictures so I couldn't use them and then she put our mask in there for us to wear so it was the perfect social quarantining wedding she did it obviously in her backyard and she hung up some lights and she really just put on a little few extra added touches which i thought was so sweet for all of her guests and it was like literally six people there so it worked out absolutely perfect and i was glad that i got a chance to photograph it and witness it because otherwise just like her own grandmother they missed it they'll all get to see the new party but these are the little cookies that she gave out which i thought were super cute but i went for bubbles so i bought that little six pack of bubbles i've already used this because i'm filming this the day after and so i didn't uh obviously have time to show you guys the bubbles because it was a crazy whirlwind of a day but i went there for the bubbles so that we had something to blow after they said their vows and they were walking back so i didn't get any photographs of that because i actually blew the bubbles but they come in a six pack so we even had a couple of extra because obviously the bride and groom weren't blowing bubbles at themselves like it did get one six pack of that which you guys you know didn't see and then i also signed up for this thing for a facebook group so the district is getting together to do something for these seniors because obviously the seniors would be graduating this year and they're missing prom and graduation and everything but then someone started a Facebook group saying okay well eighth graders have a moving up ceremony fifth graders have a moving up ceremony and kindergartners graduate also Mason is a kindergartner and that kind of choked me up a little bit because then all of a sudden I realized that Mason wouldn't be doing a graduation like I did for Jacob and I threw him a big graduation party at my house in New York he had a big graduation ceremony where he dressed up in a cap and gown and all of that and so you would put a picture up of your kid and a little bit of information about themselves and somebody adopts your child and then they drop off a graduation package for them so I'll pop up a picture of the girl that Mason met who gave all this huge basket of stuff to Mason for being a kindergarten graduate. I thought it was the sweetest thing. I cried my eyes out. It was so sweet. And then I adopted a eighth grade girl and I was kind of drawn to her because her name is Kira. So obviously we had like this name thing going, but when I read the, her story, she really loves sports and she just got promoted to captain of the tennis team and she only got to play one game and then school got canceled and she's been completely depressed about it she's missing her eighth grade cotillion she's missing all of these things and so I grabbed to donate to her and I'm meeting the mom over the weekend to give the items that I picked up for the girl and so I ordered her a t-shirt online from somebody who does like that cricket machine and they're putting her name with it says 2020 graduate the year we were quarantined with some tennis rackets and the name and then I'm just going to put this in here with some goodies I I haven't got the groceries yet I'll be getting those this weekend because she asked for like Cheetos and goldfish and stuff in the Dollar Tree didn't have that and so I'll need to stop and grab just a few of her items I'll grab it at a gas station if I have to but the mom provided me with a list of like her favorites and so these are the things that I picked up to kind of go with that so I pick up this little thing that said this girl can her mom said she really likes Target so I ordered a Target gift card online that you can just print so I just printed that out and I'm going to stick it in this cup and this was perfect from the Dollar Tree I think that's amazing and it has a little you know graduate cap on there and I like that so I got that and I'll put her gift card in there and then they had this this is super pink and girly and it just says hooray and 2020 and hats off and all that stuff so I thought that was really cute for a dollar and then her mom said she likes Sour Patch Kids so I just got her one little pack of Sour Patch Kids and then this chocolate is not for the girl this is for the mom so when the mom and I were talking back and forth on Messenger, going over what Kira's likes are and things like that, and just talking about, you know, how sweet that this Facebook group was, she mentioned that she was a single mom and that Kira is an only child. And so since we're meeting this weekend, it's the day before Mother's Day, I thought it would be kind of super sweet to do something for the mom as well. And I have tons of face masks and bath bombs and all that kind of stuff. I have stuff in my gift bin. So I'm just going to put something together for the mom 
down and that's what I'm going to use this little white basket for. I thought this would be perfect because she could always use this for something else. So I'm just going to put like the little stuff that I have, the bath bomb and all of that inside with that little box of chocolates. I thought that that would be super cute. And then this is what I'm going to use for Kira's bin. I figured she could reuse that as well and it kind of matched the cup and stuff. And they had this little um, congrats graduate balloon. So I'm just going to stick that inside after I wrap it. I have some cellophane, so I won't need any of that stuff. But then I picked these up. I'm only going to use one or maybe I'll use two and glue them together and put one word on each because they're kind of small. But when I was telling Daryl about this and I told him how she, you know, got promoted to the tennis captain and then only played one game and won and then couldn't play another game, he was like, oh, well, then technically she's under defeated because she only played one game and she did win so she's undefeated so I thought that would be really cute to maybe write undefeated champion or something on one of these little trophies like I said they're kind of small so maybe I'll have to write it like on one and then the other and glue them together I don't know I just thought that was kind of cute because I feel bad for her that um you know she was really excited about that imagine feeling like that, like trying to achieve being a captain of a team and finally getting promoted to do that and then not being able to. And when you move on to high school, you're not going to be a captain as a freshman. So I just feel bad. And I thought I could do something with the trophies. And then here's her card. I'm not going to go through every card, but I figured I would pick up my Mother's Day cards also while I'm there so I can mail them, them out this week because I'm not going back to the Dollar Tree. So I picked those up and then I did get some of these colored pencils with to go with some of those coloring books. These The mom said she likes arts and crafts and so I just got her the color and style and then the peaceful getaways, just those little adult coloring books. I thought that they were super cute. And then I got some of these swirl decorations. There's three in there. I think I'm going to hang two of them up like in Mason's room and stuff or oh, over the kitchen table when on the day he actually would have graduated but I'm gonna use one to decorate her bucket like to hang from the front of that and then I did get some bread of course I always look when I'm in this particular Dollar Tree if they have bread and I always hit the bread jackpot and I assure you I do not take every loaf I leave some for others so it gets me excited when I see this but they need to be frozen today because the expiration date for some of them say today but I don't even care because it works out perfect for me because I freeze them and I take the pieces out when I need it and I've never found mold on any of my bread from the Dollar Tree so I will take it but here's two of the nature's honey wheat and it says proudly baked in Texas I never knew that but that's pretty cool to see that they are baked from here and then you guys when I score this bread I like a jump up and do a jig this is the nature's own perfectly crafted thick sliced white bread look how huge those slices are like this makes the most delicious delicious grilled cheese sandwich like it's just so so good and I was able to get three loaves of those two of those were May 3rd but one of them is May the 5th so but I, again I throw them in the freezer and this is so much bread we won't need bread for over a month so that's perfect and again I don't intend on going back to the Dollar Tree so it was good that I scored as much as I did and then last but not least is some few things I just picked up for the kids because we're going to be going to a cabin in the woods nothing like going on vacation and and still socially isolating so there's nobody else but us going to a cabin but at least it's a change and I think that that's awesome there's a lake and stuff there so I thought the kids would have a good time so I just got them one of these beach balls that look like a shark I thought Mason would get a kick out of that and then his favorite color is green and they had this beach ball that you put the glow stick in and it lights up which I thought was kind of awesome just because um they're gonna they can play something at night they didn't have any other colors but the green so mason kind of won out with the beach balls but i'm sure he they will share because they're pretty good at that and then i picked these up and i got two just because i don't know how well they'll work and we're going for two nights maybe they can play one one night and one the other i'm pretty sure that there's oh see there's only one stick one yellow and one green okay so it's good that i picked this up because you need two one for each side so maybe they can only play one time you see how i always work this stuff out with you guys when we talk Anyways, this is a Play Glow horseshoe game. I thought that was so sweet. I love how the Dollar Tree always has a bunch of these glow stick stuff, but I thought that was super, super cute. So I just picked that up for them to play, and then that was it for the Dollar Tree. So now let's get into the meal plan. 
and then now we're back at the sink for the meal plan so this is a little bit off and i'll show you just the day before and so we had to bump the oops here we go we got to go back an extra page that's a blank guy and then you'll see that it was supposed to be a pot roast with salad and bread um, on sunday but since saturday was lauren's wedding and she kind of bumped everything it's just gonna be a hot difference of a mess and so we just kind of maneuvered things around for being able to accommodate and everything just got bumped by a day and so now for today we're doing that pot roast and now all this will slide down one and i bumped the pork chops and i already made the meal plan for the next three weeks and so i just already incorporated this into the following week so for tomorrow like i said we're going to do that 50 shades of chicken which is the fried chicken and the french fries and then the next day we'll do that fiesta chicken with the nachos and then next we're going to do those beef pot pies with salad i didn't pull the produce out or anything and then i bumped the pork chops like i said and here are the meatball subs with the leftover salad and then there is our bacon and cheese omelets with either the bagels we still have some english muffins and that watermelon and then on mother's day is the kfc bowls i bumped the coleslaw till next week and we're just doing that with the red lobster biscuits so that is it guys for this shopping my fridge freezer pantry sharing the meal plan dollar tree and smart baking company video wow that was super long-winded but i love you guys so so much i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up i wish all my moms out there a very happy mother's day i hope you guys are enjoying doing whatever it is that makes you happy right now and i'll see you guys all in the next one next you guys have a another epic meal prep video. Bye guys.